All right, so what I want to talk to you guys today about is green, green technology as it relates to the equine industry. In the last 20 years, we've seen a tremendous increase in some technology that's really helped the horse industry. And so generally, you wouldn't think of, of technology and horses and breeding together, but what we're going to be looking at today is actually ultrasound. So this, uh, this technology was taken from the human industry you guys are all familiar now with human pregnancies and diagnosing various diseases. They use um, this technology. Luckily, they don't have to go rectally, right? They put them on the on the lady's belly to, to ultrasound. With a horse, because they're so far in there, we have to go rectally because this is the actual probe. It's got little crystals in there that send out um, sound waves and if those sound waves hit something solid they'll bounce back and we'll see that as a grayness on the on the screen and it's a great field for you guys to get into because there really is a lot of skill to reading an ultrasound so this is not a place where you have to think oh I have to have a PhD I have to become a doctor because many of the people that read these are ultrasound technicians and they become really good at looking at these textural changes that show up that could be a sign of some kind of disease okay in this case we're going to be looking at something pretty simple we're looking for a fluid filled sac a vesicle that's going to have a pregnancy in this mare so we're what we're going to go ahead and just start do you want to check that out to see do you want to look at some of this you want to keep going okay so we're just going to go ahead and start palpating here this is called rectal palpation this has been around forever this is how we used to check for pregnancy. So the, the, the palpator, the, which like I said in class, could very well be you. You can be taught to do this. Um, goes in and actually, I'm get, now I'm gonna actually palpate this mare's uterus and see what we've got here. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that look in her eyes. She's like, there's something in me. It's not the same look she had when she got pregnant. <laughs> She's like, yeah, it was a lot less, you know, bone in it. She's like, I better get some treats after this, some nice carrots, you know, maybe an apple or two. Hi. What do you think the horse wants now? I think it wants some apples and carrots. Why? Because <laughs> it deserves it <laughs> for going through this. <laughs> this is actually the hardest stage to check in there because this uterus drops way off there, but it feels good. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and move on to the. Feels good, Feels good in terms of a pregnancy. That's what we want. It's going to feel even better when the baby comes out. So is this, were you just taking pictures right now with that device? No, we're getting ready we, to. We're actually getting ready to turn it on. I hope to. Are we... You're, not you're probably oh, not, not plugged, plugged in. in. Yeah, well, Neville, hold on. I'll, I'll take care of that. I'm going to 